Hello, welcome back to Rev Endurance Sports and another edition of COVID Updates. This is a series of videos where I um, try to give you updates based on what a manufacturer, bicycle manufacturer or tire manufacturer in this case, or my distributors or just anything that I think is relevant um, to keep my customer base, my YouTube base, apprised of what's going on in the supply chain for bike parts and bicycle, complete bicycles as well. Um, so before I go into the topic for today, if you would please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so that you know when I've posted a new video. Uh, today is September the 13th of 2021 and uh, we're at 528 subscribers and I appreciate each and every one of you. So thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. Okay, let's talk about the other German tire brand out there and uh, more or less like the little brother of the behemoth in the tire industry, which is Continental. I believe Continental has a, a very large market share um, at least it is from my perspective. I've not actually seen the data, but it is my perception that they have the largest piece of the pie. But the other German uh, tire manufacturer that I like as well is Schwabi. And it's a German company, so they probably have a, a, a much different way of pronouncing it, but that's how I pronounce it. So please, you're more than welcome to correct me. Uh, this is the Pro One. And the Pro One, I sell a lot in the 25 millimeter rim depth, I'm uh, sorry, width, because it matches really well the sidewall of most performance um, rims these days. And then also the 28 um, is a very common size. So 25 and 28. And it, um, you know, based on aerodynamics, you want that tire sidewall to be nice and flush with the rim sidewall of the wheel that you have chosen. Wheels have gotten wider and wider, uh, but for most applications, 25 rim width on the outside and possibly even as much as 30 that I've seen uh, from manufacturers like Zip for their wheels. All right, so what I wanted to talk about is Schwabi sent an email out to all their dealers, and I just want to read this to you real quick. So they've opened a third factory because, or third facility as they call it, because of course, everything everywhere is um, an obscene, absurd amount of demand for, uh, you name it, tires, chains, cassettes, whatever it is. So in this case, they've opened up a third um, tire factory and they said it should be operational by the fall of this year and um, you know producing more tires uh, going into 2022 so you know basically they've had the same issues that everyone else has had um, they didn't actually mention where the factory was going to be so I honestly don't know from this email uh, they mentioned tires and tubes are going to be made there. But, um, you know, that's one of those situations, again, where even if you hire more personnel, maybe that factory has a limited capacity. There's only so many assembly lines or there's only so many uh, square footage in which to produce um, your product. And maybe space as far as how many people you can have in a certain space safely operating. So they've had to build a third tire facility. It's good news for us. I just hope that at some point we just don't have this glut of inventory and then, you know, prices, um, I don't know, whatever can happen when you have too much of something and now the demand is fine. You don't have as much demand. But anyway, um, just wanted to tell you a little bit about the company in case Maybe you've never heard of Schwabi. I think some people, um, once they find a tire that works for them, they kind of stick with it, and that makes all the sense in the world. Uh, but, you know, Schwabi's been around since 1922, and they're in their third generation 
uh, family owned by the Bowl Bowl family, and it's B O H L E, and they've they've had um, their uh, their it's been family owned since basically 1922, which is pretty amazing based on you know all the things that can happen when you have um, uh, almost well yeah it's almost a hundred year old company so many things can happen during that time but they have remained uh, family owned and they're in the third generation of that um, you know they have factories in many different places and um, just wanted to point out that their headquarters is in Germany they have subsidiaries in France Great Britain Italy Netherlands US and Canada and distributors in 40 different countries and a production partnership with Korean tire manufacturer um, called Hung A uh, production in Indonesia and Vietnam and if you look at um, you know the labeling on these tires here they're made in Indonesia and if you're wondering why uh, some of these German companies um, you know, Vittoria is an Italian company, but they also have production um, in, I believe it's Indonesia, but maybe it's Taiwan. Sorry if I don't know right off the top of my head, but it's because that's where the rubber trees are. And, you know, one of these things where rubber trees there, they get the rubber, they make the tires and off they go. And it's much easier and to have to transport it uh, possibly from Indonesia or Taiwan or somewhere like that all the way over to Germany and then do their production in Germany. So anyway, that's all I wanted to talk to you about today, that the way Schwab is combating their inventory issues is they've built a third facility uh, so that they can keep up with the demand. I, I don't know that they're keeping up with the demand. As a matter of fact, uh, these Pro 1s are out of stock from my distributor until April of 2022. Uh, luckily, I've still got a couple of them here and there. But uh, once these sell out, April of 22 is when I, I expect to replenish this for my stock. So lots of people have had to switch from a tire brand, a tire model, just to keep their bikes on the road. It's, it's one of those situations where if you love the, the Pro 1 and you've been riding it for a long time, you may have to switch to something else until they become available again in April. Okay, that's all for today. I do appreciate your time and your attention. Please subscribe to the channel. I look forward to providing a whole lot more content to you as it comes to me. And uh, in the meantime, I will see you up the road.